Hi, I'm Iona Colville and I am from Launceston, Tasmania. I'm the Tasmanian um, representative and I like a good solid minus six degrees every single day. <laughs> Melbourne's too hot for me. <laughs> I got drunk, I signed up, um, I couldn't figure out how to quit and now I'm here. <laughs> Is that too honest? I mean, I can sign up, what's the worst that can happen? This. <laughs> I can go on national television. <laughs> Nervously pacing, I'm rehearsing in my head. <laughs> Please welcome from Launceston, Iona Colville. Uh, yes, my parents did name me Iona. Some parents like to set their kids up for success. My parents set me up for bullying. <laughs> I'd, I'd always uh, hoped for a silver lining that my parents had chosen my name out of a group of weirder names. So when the conversation came up with my mum, and she started listing off names like Sarah and Jessica and Chloe. Well, you could have kissed me on the lips and called me Jesus because I felt betrayed. <laughs> and my Judas of a mother tried reconciling her mistake by going, yeah, but we had the name Kitty on the list too. <laughs> and <laughs> saying that's like a bad thing. You know what's a bad thing, Ma? Having a name that rhymes with boner. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know how they didn't get around to checking what it rhymed with, I mean, Lona, Mona, Corona. <laughs> they definitely didn't have the 2020 vision for that foresight. Um, I do love the story of how they came across my name though. So the origin of it is that it's the name of an island off of Scotland. Um, but my parents have never been because my dad is blacklisted. Not because he's done anything bad, he's just English. <laughs> but um, the real story is my mum was 38 heavily pregnant and still working as a midwife. And I, I had to tell her, I was like, I really admire you doing that. And she laughed. She was like, yeah. The only reason I did it was because I didn't have any names ready yet and I had to go steal them off all the other ladies' babies. <laughs> and the hypocrite used to have the audacity to get mad at me when I copied other people's homework. <laughs> I complain a lot about my name, but there are some pros to it. One of the best ones being, I don't have to use any contraceptives because my name is never on those Facebook lists of girls with these names are getting pregnant this year. <laughs> it's been nine years straight, but I checked just in case. Um, second best one, the ATO misspelt my name with an L. So I feel really bad for the poor person out there who's named Loner and paying double the taxes. <laughs> um, I did wonder how rare the name Iona actually is, so did a Google and the results came up for the US. And since the 1880s, they have recorded 9,448 Ionas and 270 million other Americans have been born since then as well. So that's 0.00003% of the population, right? And the world population, you pump those numbers up, you know, be really bad at maths. And I think it's like four, four and a half Ionas. <laughs> checks out. Um, so imagine my surprise when I met another Iona in my small town of Launceston. I was like, this town's too small for the both of us, partner. <laughs> but like, to be fair, I saw this girl and I was like, you know, she's experienced all the mispronunciations, all the spelling errors and the bullying. And she was just, she was just me, but a little bit uglier. So I really kept my top spot of hottest <laughs> Iona. <laughs> Um, I was looking at her, I was hoping, thinking, you know, I hope this girl's, she's probably learnt to love her name, learnt to love herself, learnt to love this dumb, dumb world that can't comprehend a name that consists of 75% vowels. <laughs> and you want to know what the first thing she said to me was? What the fuck were our parents thinking, right? <laughs> Thank you very much, guys. I'm Anna Colville. Thank you. I was worried I was gonna forget everything and it just flowed so good. I saw all of my family in the audience. It was just amazing. So I'll relish this feeling for like the rest of the day, probably the rest of the year. <laughs>